This is the story of the pie, the cat, and the bulldog of doom. This is the pie. This is the cat. And this, for reasons that will become apparent, is the bulldog of doom. Especially if you're a cat. One day, Miss Generic Housewife model baked a pie. The aroma began to make its way to surrounding homes. And there's a curious thing about this neighborhood. No matter which way the wind is blowing, the smell of something freshly cooked will always somehow make its way to the nostrils of this cat. <laughs> Uh-oh. Bruno's decided to help himself to that elderly gentleman's lunch. Wow. Even I wouldn't do something that rotten. <laughs> What are you doing eating here? Why aren't you over on Crestview Avenue? That's where I'm heading. What's over on Crestview Avenue? You don't know? Oh, nothing. There's nothing going on over there. Uh, I'll see you later. <clears throat> What's going on over on Crestview <laughs> Avenue? Like I said, nothing. No, there's no free all-you-can-eat pancakes festival. Ooh, is a free all-you-can-eat pancakes festival? Who told you? Uh, why am I bothering with this crummy sandwich when I could be eating all the pancakes I could eat? Yeah. Here, you can eat this. Pancakes, here I come! <laughs> Bruno's not the brightest character on the series. If there were free pancakes over on Crestview Avenue, do you think I'd be here? <laughs> hey. My lunch! Somebody stole my lunch! Oh, thank you, kitty cat. You deserve a reward. <laughs> Would you like half a peanut butter and chicken salad sandwich? No. And it was about then that the aroma of freshly baked pie reached the cat's nostrils. That smell. I know that smell. I know that smell. I love that smell. Pie! Pie. Oh, wonderful pie. Apple pie, peach pie, cherry pie, poisonberry pie, coconut pie, any berry pie. Pie with ice cream on the top, pie with ice cream on the side. But it didn't really matter what kind of pie it was. Scientific testing has shown that this particular cat will eat just about anything. Uh, tuna sandwich on whole wheat bread. <laughs> he eats it. Shrimp chow mein with crispy noodles. Hum. He eats it. Bean burrito with a side of nachos. Hum. He eats it. Meat lasagna. <laughs> he eats it. And the plate it's on. Two three-minute eggs and home fries. Hum. He eats it. Uh, chicken fried steak. Hum. All in all, he eats it. they tested 7,423 foods that afternoon. He eats it. And discovered that the only ones the cat would not eat were... Anchovies on pizza, most healthy foods, anything that resembles yogurt, John's meatloaf, a peanut butter and chicken salad sandwich, and raisins. Raisins? Yuck. You know how they make raisins? They take gravel and they soak it until it wrinkles. This is useful information, Dr. Whipple. Thanks. We'll be heading home now. Oh, and on the way home, could we stop for hot dogs? And so the cat followed the wonderful aroma all the way to the house in the next block. Lemon meringue pie, chocolate meringue pie, meringue meringue pie. It was there that he found the source of the wonderful aroma. Pie. Unfortunately, he saw something else there. It was... <laughs> the Bulldog of Doom! Yes, between the cat and the wonderful smelling pie, there stood but one obstacle, the Bulldog of Doom. The cat looked at the pie. Then he looked at the bulldog. Then he looked at the pie again. Then he looked at the bulldog again. Then the pie, then the bulldog, then the pie, then the bulldog. And finally, he came to the conclusion that any sane, pie-loving cat would reach. I'm giving up. Mm. No, I'm not. I can't leave that delicious smelling, beautiful looking, whatever kind of pie it is pie, there uneaten like that. I must brave the bulldog of doom. Go 
to sleep, my baby, my baby, my baby. Go to sleep, my baby. I'm going to eat the pie. I'm almost to the pie. I'm almost to my demise. No, no, stop! I don't want pie. Nice food, Dr. Julie. Well, now you know why he's called the Bulldog of Doom. If I know me, I'm gonna go after that pie, and the Bulldog of Doom will do me. How can I stop me? The cat thought and thought and thought, and finally he had an idea. Hey, in John's old magic act, he had a pair of handcuffs. As ideas go, it wasn't a very good one. But sometimes a bad idea is huh? better than no idea at all. All right now, Odie. Do you understand what I'm doing here? Uh-huh. <laughs> Look, it's very simple. Over on the next block, there's pie. I do not want to go over there and try to get the pie. And do you know why I don't want to go over there and try and get the pie? Because the pie is being guarded by the Bulldog of Doom. To prevent me from being tempted to go over and get the pie at the expense of my life, I have handcuffed myself to this post here. And here is the only key. Okay, I want you to keep this key for me. Hold on to it, and no matter how much I ask for it, do not, I repeat, do not give it back to me. Is that clear? Wait a minute. It's a pie. I'm Garfield. I ought to be able to figure out a way to get my paws in that pie. Odie, bring me the key. Odie, I told you not to give it to me no matter what I said. Huh? Do you want me to be doomed by the Bulldog of Doom? <laughs> then don't give me the key. <laughs> <sighs> I wonder what kind of pie it is. Maybe rhubarb pie, or pecan pie, or pumpkin pie. <gasps> what if it's pumpkin pie? Oh, I'll bet it's pumpkin pie. Warm, creamy, delicious pumpkin pie. I don't care if there's a bulldog of doom guarding it. Odie, bring me the key. Hurry. Aren't you hearing a word of what I said? No matter what I say, no matter how I beg or order you, do not, I repeat, do not give me back the key. Do you understand, Odie? Now. Temptation won't make me go after that pie and get doomed by the Bulldog of Doom. <sighs> I'm safe. There he is. <sighs> I'm not safe. Free all you can eat pancake festival, huh? It's the Bruno of Doom. I'd better go hide in another country. Oh! <gasps> the handcuffs. <sighs> <sighs> Odie, Odie, I need the key to these handcuffs. <clears throat> No, I know I said not to give them to me, but give them to me. Bodie, uh, uh, uh. if you don't give me that key, Bruno's gonna flood me like for free all you can eat pancakes. <laughs> what do you mean you're too smart to fall for that? He's here, Odie. Uh, uh, uh. Free all you can eat pancakes on Crestview Avenue, huh? Did I say Crestview Avenue? I meant uh, uh, Viewcrest Avenue. They have pancakes there and syrup and all. <laughs> Would you believe free waffles? Uh, oh, uh, help. Uh, now you give me the key. Uh -huh. Great. Now I'll probably be tempted to go after that pie, and then the Bulldog of Doom will do the same thing to me. It was at that moment that the cat had what seemed like a pretty good idea. It was that great kind of idea that can solve two problems at the same time. In this case, the two problems were the big cat bully and the severe lack of pie. Pie? Oh, no. I'm not falling for another one of your tricks, Garfield. No, really, it's pie. Can't you smell it? Now that you mention it. 
I'm still not sure what kind of pie it is. Might be coconut cream, might be cinnamon pear, might be a uh, chicken pot pie. Hey, it is pie. If I know anything, I know when there's a pie. So, I was thinking we could split it and- We ain't splitting nothing. I'm taking the whole thing for myself. Uh, okay, if you say so, Bruno. Oh, Bruno! Uh, did I remember to warn you about the Bulldog of Doom? Bulldog of Doom? Uh, no, you didn't say anything about any Bulldog of Doom. Oh, sorry. I forgot to mention there's a Bulldog of Doom. Bulldog of Doom? The cat was very proud of his cleverness as he made his way to the now unguarded pie. But he had another surprise. Oh, did you smell the pie I baked, little cat? Mm. Would you like some of it? Well, here. You take the whole thing. I'll bake another. It's the only kind of pie I know how to make. Raisin pie. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, by any chance, is that half a peanut butter and chicken salad sandwich still available? Hey, cat's gotta eat.